Well, here we are again, back with the, uh, the bike I call the Revolver. Uh, it's coming along. I just thought I'd show you a little bit of it. Here's my custom swing arm I made. It's a two inch extension, two by one box section, which has been drilled and then uh, obviously TIG welded with tubes in to make it look like it's uh, just drilled a holes, but it's, it's pretty solid. Obviously my uh, back brake set up like I usually hand drill. The 16 inch Harley Davidson wheel, laced with uh, 750 uh, spokes, but um, the stainless steel and they're polished with a set of bridge, bridge stones on it. Um, plenty of flake as you can see. Let's have a look. All right, stuck the oil tank on today um, and put my custom lines on. You know these ones here, the uh, braided hoses. Also a set of Tarazzi uh, Italian rear sets, but this time I, I took all the anodizing off and polished it because it's aluminum, so that's kind of nice. Uh, rear brake switch I've put on, so that's all ready. i just got to stretch the spring slightly to fit onto the new setup. Um, i got a, a breather from the valve cover because the stock one doesn't have that. kind of looks nice and custom. Something else I like to do, and it's kind of important for me, is a oil pressure gauge. So when that thing runs, I like to know what it's going on because the stock, um, the stock ones, which actually uh, the pressure switch, which is there, they can go wrong sometimes and give you a false sense of security. So if you look down and you've got air, uh, oil pressure, you're doing good. Rebuilt carburetors and polished the tops and bottoms for brand new intake manifolds and stainless steel ho hose clamps so they won't split. Original 1970s uh, velocity stacks and uh, I'm looking at re-spinning uh, these right now, so keep your eye out on my website. Um, this motor has been huffed on slightly, a little bit of port in, but it's just basically an 836 with a standard cam, but the cams are good on this. So be plenty of grunt for, uh, for Jess. Uh, one of my custom uh, valve breathers, which I've put on there. Kind of hard to see with my little camera, but uh, there you go. What else can I show you? Well, just, just to frame yourself, I haven't, I haven't done the exhaust yet. That's my custom um, engine mount and my old uh, fin covers that I recast. And if you look in the back there, there's one of my uh, engine mounts there too. Took the foot pegs obviously, so I put some chrome acorns on there to replace that. Other things you'll notice, you know, a chrome lower triple tree, brand new horn, repainted ears and position, new turn signals, tri bar red light, rebuilt forks, new gaiters, machine forks too, with new dampeners in them, uh, rebuilt front, front end, you know, with new spokes. It's a polished hub, a new bearings and a middle painted black, which I thought was kind of a nicer black and silver, like offset works well. And then stuck a new set of uh, rubber on from obviously Bridgestone, which I like the old Spitfires. Slightly oversized, so I have to uh, alter the fender, which I'm gonna be cutting and shortening soon. Uh, brand new uh, original uh, cups for the gauges. Uh, I wanna do a black master cylinder this time. Uh, coming around the master cylinder, I've, I've yet to put my braided hoses on that yet. Uh, brand new old stock uh, early series um, handlebar switch uh, and GT Beeston grips. You'll notice that the uh, triple tree is all polished, I took the paint off and buffed it up. Black Clubman bars, offset with a set of uh, polished aluminum of my own uh, handlebar clamps. Custom gauges. New anabar switch outside. Plenty of uh, stainless Allen heads too. So quite a bit really that you're looking on here. And uh, still got a little ways to go as yet. And remember that I gotta get this ready to go to Australia. So there's still a ways to go. But uh, overall it's starting to look nice. I drilled all the sprocket cover up. People don't really notice how much work I put into that. But that's quite a bit of work to be honest. Come up to the carbs again, which are pretty badass. And uh, you know, ignition switch uh, bracket, a powder coating. I'm gonna put a new switch on. There's a new harness I'm putting in now, so I'm just going all through that. Uh, what else? That's about it, you know. Chrome headlight. Everything as new as possible, you know. I hand drilled the uh, the rotor too, so it's getting there. Uh, other bikes you can see on here is the uh, the Cyclone. I've got the tank off at the moment because I'm going to seal the tank. 
It's got plenty of uh, metal flake on it too, another metal flake bike. Uh, this is an 850 motor with a little bit of a cam on it. Rebuilt carbs obviously. Let's go up to the gauges here. These are KO gauges so all the instruments displays are inside. They've kind of done the black and silver type uh, faces on them. Original switches that I polished. Um, front fender that I painted like metal flake, like the G GT Shelby, you know, that kind of colour scheme. Have a look down here, the frame looks nice. Set of rear sets. I put a uh, two inch box swing arm Dresden style that I reproduce now, and also one of my reproduction Tarp Performance 4 in a 1 exhaust, which uh, a lot of people like. And I've enjoyed riding with the sound that cracks, it's great, it just crackles away. You've seen that on YouTube anyway. This is called the Cyclone, and obviously um, it's all hand drilled and everything now. A new brake set up, new bearings, 16 inch wheel, my finned uh, brake stabilizer, which I sell. Just everything really, it's a lot of little custom touches. That's a stock seat that I cut down, reupholstered. Uh, shorten the rear mud guard, or what you call a fender, by six inches cut and then uh, Frenched it and then uh, TIG welded, filled, BSA towel light and then repainted with one of my custom turn signal setups. Um, other than that, you know, I'm almost there, I'm just working on a few bits and pieces. You can see I'm doing another bike in the background, which is uh, the customers I'm building from scratch. And that's coming along, pretty much the same sort of thing really, you know. Chrome swing arm, stock one, but uh, rebushed. X-ring chain, Harley rear end, powder coated frame, rebuilt motor and carburetors with new pod filters and intakes. New wire harness, new coils. Yeah, new gauges, you want it, you know, silver metal flake, which is nice, nice offset to it. I'm just doing the wiring on here, brand new wiring you see, I shorten them and then put new Honda ends on. Uh, new front mud guard. Rebuilt the uh, the brake caliper and put a stainless piston in, which uh, is my own piston, and uh, hand drilled the, uh, the rotor. Come around to the header of my uh, Ton Up Performance 4 and a 1 system with new crush gaskets. So it's all coming along like, you know, that's getting there slowly. That's about it man, so I thought I'd just show you what's going on here because people keep emailing me and say, say a bit more, say a bit more, so there you go. Yeah, I tape the frame up so I don't scratch so much because I try to tank on and refit and cut and shape, you know. So there you go. Just look at part of my workshop. I'll, sh I'll try and do a video of the rest of the workshop for a later date. Thanks for watching.